in this video I will discuss how to add uh, users in Dynamics 365 instance so normally in on premise versions we add users in security and users but uh, in Dynamics 365 online we have to use office admin center to create users so for that you have to click on the admin uh, option here it is displaying on the screen and once you click that this office 365 home page will open then you have to click on the dynamics and uh, sorry you have to click on admin icon you find here and as soon as you click the admin you can see the user tab that is available in the sitemap so once we click on the sitemap users we can select as enabled users right so this is the user screen now you can click on active users once you click active users it will display all the users which are in active state in dynamics platform now if you want to add new user then you can just click on add user by clicking this button add a user then you have to give the minimum informations to creating a user like first name let's say you want to create something like Gary and uh, Richard and display name I will, it will automatically populate for us and username you have to give that so I have given Gary Richard at the red uh, my domain name if the username is already there then you have to give a new username right so let's say Gary Richard123 at the rate my domain name. So and here you can click on auto generate password, otherwise, you can uh, define a specify specified password for the user so that you can share the password to the user so that he can log in to Dynamics 365, right? If you click this require this user to change the password when they first sign in, then you have to check this so that uh, when the user will log in uh, the system will prompt to uh, change the password otherwise if you don't want then you can just uncheck this and uh, you can click on this send password in the email so that uh, the password will be sent to the email uh, to that user right so click on next once you click next it will ask you to select a product or licensing for the user so I want Dynamics 365 customer engagement plan power automate and office 365 plan uh, to assign to this user so I can click next once I have assigned I will click next and remember this username let me copy this because using this user credential I will log in in a new window and click finish adding as soon as I click finish adding the user will be automatically created in Dynamics 365 and we will see how we can add security role for that user once it is added now it is done so I can click close right so this user is created now sorry this user because we have already a with the same name so I have given another uh, username here so for this user I have not added security roles so for that we have to go to the uh, advanced settings and you have to go to security and here you have to choose users and as soon as you click users it will display different views for that user entity and we have to choose the entity uh, we have to choose the view as users with no security role so that the user that we have created just now will display there so click on this user and we have to change the view from the default view to the users with no security role right so this is the view click on this so by default omni channel users are displaying we can set it in customization if i want to make some other system view to be default but now you click this view and go to users uh, with no security roles because we have not assigned any security role for that user right 
so this is the user which has been created for now so we have to refresh for now right so this is the user so this user is just created but there is no security role so this user cannot log in in the system so click that user or open this by double clicking the user record then we have to click the manage role so once the user record opens we have to go to ribbon bar and you will find a manage role option to there So until unless we, it's not sufficient that you just create a user and uh, the user will be able to log in Dynamics 365. So we have to add a role for that. Otherwise, he will not be able to access. So click on this Manage Roles. Then we have to give a role, let's say Sales Person, and click OK. Once you click OK, the security role has been assigned for the user now you can use the new user credential to log in to the system right so i'll show you how the user can log in but now the, using this panel this office 365 admin center you can add users okay now if i will use the new user's credential to log in how it works let's say uh, let me open in a new window I'll just go to new in private window. Now here I'll use so the uh, the uh, site I will hit is office.com. Just hit office.com, and it will ask you to give the credential details, right? So this is the user name that has been created last time. I can give the username here and click next. I have to give the password that I, I have assigned for the user and I click next, sign in. You have to give proper password here, otherwise it will not work. Okay. So if the password is not working, you have to go to here and check the password for that user. Uh, go to admin. So we have to again go to active users. I think the password is wrong. So we have to reset the password for the user. So this is the user and I can click on reset password. I can give a password for him. I have given a new password and I will share this password to the user in email. Then once the email is sent to the user, the user will open that email and use that password. Okay. So click close now he will use the new password now click yes now the user can see the uh, home page of the office app uh, where he will find all the applications that are authorized for, to use for this app for this user now you can see the Dynamics app is showing here in the left side. Click on the Dynamics 365 so that the app will open for the user. And all the applications, all the Dynamics apps that are assigned to the user or that are enabled for the role uh, which has been assigned to this user will be displayed here. Okay, Because it is trying to sync all the apps. Okay, So click on the sync. So sync will uh, display all the apps that has been assigned for the user, right? There is no user sh showing now, so I will just assign a user. I will assign the app for the user. I will just click on this advanced settings and click on apps. And in the apps, 
it will display all the app apps that are available for the Dynamics 365 instance. I'll, I just want to enable sales hub for sales users. So I'll just click on this and click on manage roles. Here I will select sales user, okay, sales person, and I'll click next. Once I will click save, then user can go to his home page and click synchronize so that the app will be available in his screen okay it may take some time try refreshing okay so this is how you can uh, create users you can assign role for that user or your dynamic 365 instance Thank you for watching this video. See you later.